excited in uh, the next couple minutes, what I'm going to talk about is a little bit about the mindset necessary to succeed. I'm going to share a little bit about my story. And, uh, and, and really, truly, I want to teach you guys some of the things that I did to actually change my life in recruiting. Who here would like to increase their production from what they're doing right now? All right. Well, here's here's uh, my background. You know, when I started this business, I was just a broke college kid. You know, and uh, and I started. And uh, one of the things that I realized early on, because I had an incredible mentor, Mr. Gregor, you know, he, he gave me a, a, the foresight of a warning. And I'm going to give that to you guys if you haven't yet. All right. Anything that you do, anytime you stick your head up and try to go for something different. Anytime you try and separate yourself from the masses, you're going, you're basically inviting the universe to test you. To see how bad you want it. Because a lot of people say, oh, hey, I want to be successful. Well, what is success? Success, another word for success is being victorious. You want to be successful? You want to be victorious, right? Well, if you want to be victorious, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to conquer some stuff. There's going to be enemies. There's going to be opponents. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be distractions. Now, sometimes the enemy attacks. You know, with the little jabs of distractions. Sometimes he's just going to go ahead and give you the uppercut, which is going to be the big obstacle. You're going to get attacked personally. You're going to get attacked mentally. You're going to get attacked with health situations, relationship. I know when I started this business, uh, you know, it wasn't shortly after I graduated. You know, and I moved to a town where I didn't know anyone. You know, so I went to this town, Roanoke, Virginia, little old Roanoke. And, uh, and I didn't know a single person. You know, so I could have had, you know, and I didn't have a cell phone either, and, you know, and, and everyone I knew were just 21-year-old broke college kids just like me. All right? you know, so everyone graduated, and I just started a new job, you know, so I could have used the excuse, you know what, hey, I'm in a new position, I really need to learn this new job, I'm going to a place where I don't know anyone, hey, let me go ahead and just get back at me, pay legal, let me get settled, everyone say excuses. Excuses. See, look, you can make money, or you can make excuses, but you can't make both. All right. So you know what I did? I said, I'm not going to make an excuse. I'm going to get it done anyway, regardless. I'm in an area where I don't know anybody. So I guess what I figured, I guess I got to figure out how to go meet some people. All right. Now, how many people have gotten from either prospects or associates a whole bunch of excuses? You know, and look, if you're building this business, how many people should have had more people here today? Absolutely. But the excuses got right. I call them, they see, it's excusitis. All right. I made that up. There's no cue. All right. But. If there was, boy, I'd sell it and I'd make a fortune. But here's what I do want to let you guys know. There's some people in this business, if you really want to go out there and get it, if you really want to be successful, and this isn't even about this business, this is a life, this is, this is old, guys. This is old, old. Anytime you reach out for something, you're going to have to basically conquer the universe, and you're going to have to conquer the six inches in between each year, which is basically going to, it's just what really the enemy is after. All right, so what I want to share with you guys is if you want to have a breakthrough in your life, and this is a perpetual thing, every big breakthrough I've ever had in my life has basically been either preceded or followed by a big area of darkness, uh, an obstacle, before the dawn, the night is darkest. Would you guys agree? Oh, yeah. You know, so right now, a lot of you guys, and I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I know somebody in here is being challenged with some stuff. Somebody's being challenged with some distractions. Somebody is getting attacked. And if that's you, congratulations. Because guess what? You're on the verge of a breakthrough. But if you have the foresight to understand, you know what? I'm being attacked. This is a good thing. Embrace it. Have the attitude of bring it. Give it to me. Because I want it. Because if you're not having it, then you don't have anything to conquer. And if you're not going to conquer anything, how are you going to be successful? Does that make sense? Yeah. So let me tell you something. When, uh, when I got started in this business, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, I didn't know anybody, you know, in any of the areas I lived in. You know, and again, instead of using that as an excuse, I use that for my reason. Because here's the thing. You reap what you sow and you sow what you reap. And in this business, we have something called the law of sacrifice. It's a law of leadership. You have to give up to go up. So the hardest part and the biggest challenge is you have to give up, in most cases, what it is that you want the most. If you want to get it in abundance later, you're going to have to give up a little bit of it now. And they've talked about that, am I right? Yeah. right? You know, so here's the thing. If you want more time freedom, what do you think you're going to have to give up? Time. Time. See, me, I didn't have any money, so what do you think I had to give up? Money. Now look, that's hard when you don't have any, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's hard to say, oh man, the convention of Las Vegas, airline, oh man, listen. You have to give up to go up. And a lot of you want a breakthrough. Who here wants a breakthrough? Who here? You want a breakthrough? Yeah. Listen. Listen. In order to get to, you have to go through. And there are no drive-through breakthroughs. See, when the enemy attacks, it's nothing but 
but to generate you to make that excuse and, and make you, once you generate that excuse, you're done. Because then you become a part of the Always Something Club. We know people in the Always Something Club, right? You ever call up one of your associates and try to invite them to a event, and it's always something. You know, oh, you wouldn't believe it. You know, there are people that didn't miss this event because they didn't want to pay $15. Oh, I don't have the money. You think that's an excuse, or you think that's the reason they probably shouldn't have needed to be here? You know, some people say, oh man, listen, this is my family day. I really want to spend some time with my family. Listen, when you give up a little bit now, it's going to come back to you. You can spend the rest of your life with your family never miss an event.